Nathan Valentine, the captain of Glossop. Let's get a historic era underway here at Gig Lane. Referee just making his final checks. Checking with the respective goalkeepers. Everyone with the cameras out again, ready to film this moment. And away we go. Valentine with the ball back. So that's, that's cleared. And Saka looking to pick it up. He does well. He's looking to move central as he finds Benito low. Benito low looking to, to turn past the defender there, but it's well defended. Yeah, disappointing there. It was hard for low, but if he had, had the vision to have seen Palmer, he was just beating his man. This afternoon, and Saka with the ball forward, looking to find the run of Benito Lowe, and Benito Lowe clean through on goal here, he's got the right foot, he's shot! Oh, what an opening goal to be back at Gig Lane with Benito Lowe, five and a half minutes on the clock, and what a start to this season, Barry one gloss of North End nil. You just had a feeling, as soon as that ball was played forward, you saw Lowe who managed to pull on to uh, Badrock at the back, and I just fancied him to get in front of him. Badrock was got underneath the ball, it allowed Palmer to then get in front. Badrock was able to then sort of face him up, but as you say, Lowe's finish with his inside, his right foot, curled it beautifully past the left arm uh, of the goalkeeper, Giles, and it didn't take long at all for Berry to get the first goal of the season. Well, 3.21, Saturday the 29th of July 2023 at Solo. No doubts will go down in history. And I'm sure that's the first of, of many he'll, uh, he'll score this season. Tinning might eventually go for goal. Tinning left-footed into the area and goes over the bar. Yeah, it wasn't a, a good delivery that from Tinning. He definitely was going for goal. Sands looking to move forward. Here's Briggs. That's uh, Ella San on the left hand side looking to get forward. Ella San is brought down. Penalty. I was surprised it took the referee so long to give that then. It was one of the most blatant penalties you've ever seen. Al Hassan was, had squared his defender up. He then went to the outside, and it was a, a late challenge from Mark Haslam at right back and brought him down. When, to be fair, he was going to the byline, Al Hassan, but wasn't really going anywhere dangerous, so it wasn't a challenge that was needed. But a real opportunity for Berry and Lowe to double their account for the afternoon. Indeed. It was nice play initially by Briggs in the build-up as well to play in El Hassan. Held the ball up well. Always had a, an idea to play him in. And he managed to get the penalty in the end, El Hassan. Benito Lowe is going to step up against Giles. Lowe steps up, scores! And 11 minutes on the clock. Two goals for Benito Lowe and it's Barry two gloss at North End nil. Really lovely penalty from Lowe there. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way to the keeper's right hand side and low hit it so sweetly low into the corner oh difficult to save those and 10 minutes in 2-0 up he couldn't have asked much more from Andy Welsh's side 18 yard box and a freeze happy he moves away into the area it goes the finds the head of Tinning and that's going to Run out for a gloss up for uh, throwing. Yeah, really important header there from Tinning. Set Derby into the area, crossed and looking to nip in at the back post was was Gillam there. Oh, really nice feet there by Derby to get away from a couple of the Berry midfielders. But he was able to compose himself in the end and handle it well. It's a lot to get through here. Here's Darius Palmer with a great opportunity. Palmer left footed. Breaks off the line! You could have bet your bottom dollar that was going in if it hadn't been for the <laughs> centre back of Gloss at Will Hart's on there. Ball forward. Lafferty 
looks to find El Hassan, who's probably not the, the tallest player in the box there. Picked up to Rowney, who looked to go, looks to go from distance and just over the bar. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't the most confident of uh, punches out by Giles. Almost on the head of Briggs as well, but again, another corner now for Tinning to try and cause problems for Glossop. Ball into the area, Briggs, goal! 28 minutes on the clock, great corner into the area. Finds Andy Briggs, literally two or three yards out from goal. At 28 minutes on the clock, Berry three, Berry three, loss at North End nil. It was third time, lucky with the corners there. Three corners from Berry, creating their pressure. And eventually it told as it went across the six yard box. El Hassan tried to get something on it. Wasn't able to, but then Briggs at the back post, just, in, was just inside the post really, was completely free. And he was able to tap it in for that third goal. And obviously, Berry will need to keep that momentum going because it's quite easy at 3 0 up, even at half an hour gone, to just switch off and they'll have to not do that. Stewart's usually in Ealing, but he's uh, on a balcony in Greece this afternoon. Here's Palmer, right hand side. Cross into the area towards the back stick and. Just uh, inches wide. Yeah, it was almost too good across there from Palmer. It was too much pace behind it for anyone to get on the end of it, but it was a devastatingly whipped in ball. And at Gig Lane, very leading by three goals to nil. This is an opportunity here for Benito Lowe. And it's a shot there from Sajad Al Hassan. That's going to be a goal kick. It'll be an in swinger. Into the area it goes, and Atkinson I said, didn't get the right end catch on it there. There's a player down for Berry as Palmer clears. Referee's not noticed, so it's cleared. The pressure came in, and he was diving around all over the place, brought a gloss at player down while saving it. So the corner comes in, into the area it goes. That's cleared. Header off the bar. Lafferty clears, gloss up corner. Did well there, did Curtis Obeng out towards Palmer. A look to get a cross in there and it's cleared. Oh, I did really well, Palmer, then to put the ball in. It was a dangerous ball. So free. Blows the half time whistle. Very going at half time. Three goals for the good. Uh, Andy Smythe, you can't really have asked for, for much more than that. Turn are good to go. And eventually, in the second half of the game will kick off. As Briggs latches onto the loose ball to find Low, who has got Ella Sand to his left, but he tries to fade through to Palmer, but it's good defending by Bad Rock, and he clears in pre season. He finds El Hassan, brings on the edge of the box, plays it to Palmer. Lovely feet to get past three Glossard offend players, and he's gone down, and it's a penalty. Penalty for Berry at the start of his second half. It was really good. Oh, sorry, he's, he's brought it back for a free kick. I apologise. He's pulled it right on the edge. Palmer initially went down inside the box, three yards in, but he's brought it back for the initial challenge. Chance here for. Lenehan to hit the ball goalwards. It's Palmer who hits it low and it's off the wall. Back out to Lenehan who tries to curl it to the far post, but it's out for a goal kick. Good tackle though from Lenehan and a lovely Maradona turn to then drive forward. He then plays in Palmer. Berry with four players forward here. Palmer into low on the edge of the box. Goes towards the byline, plays the ball in. Briggs tries to nip in front and Managed to do so, but Giles does well to collect it. As Obeng picks up the loose ball and plays Palmer in first time. Chance for him to run at the full back. A few lollipops as he then takes a shot and that's over the bar. And a really daydreaming Giles who is appealing for a ball, but it will come back to him. 
Brownie then thinks the ball forward to low. Just on the edge of the box, he squares up his defender, sends him onto his feet, but he does well in the end. Lanyard to initially clear away, but still with low, he's now into the box. Plays it towards Briggs, but under his foot, and out of the penalty box again. And there's a nice chip over the top, but Axon's positioning was a positive one, and he's able to come out of his goal early and collect. Ball's now with El Hassan. Goes back to Lafferty after being under a fair amount of pressure. Very doing well at retaining the ball. As Lennon plays a lovely crossfield ball to El Hassan. Does well to keep possession. And Sarka now will come inside and drive at the Gossip back line. He then takes a shot. And it's an absolutely wonderful goal. Fantastic ball from Lennon out to El Hassan. Oh, Sarka then came inside, drove with that Gossip back line. Had a shot towards the far post. And the day just keeps getting better and better for Berry as they're 4 0 up. Well, I can see what that means. The family of, uh, of Jody and Saka just sat in front of us there. And I mean, everyone, was, everyone wanted to sign him as, as they did. And well, with goals like that, why not? Fantastic strike, but again, it comes from that drive as he went towards the back line of Glossop. Now, Sarka with a wonderful goal. And again, it was all from that ball by Lenehan scoring left back. He wins the ball back, he can't do anything wrong at the moment. Now, with Lenehan, takes a shot, and that's just wide. I'll give Giles the benefit of the doubt and say he knew that was happening, but it was hit with some pace. The free kick is not long to the box. It's headed away. Lennon though collects. Lennon now plays the ball into the box. It's fitted on by low. And that's just wide. I thought we were going to see the hat trick for the number nine. In this specific <laughs> moment. As the free kick does go goal. Woods action just spills it. And it's eventually gone in. Appeals for handball from the Berry defenders. But the ball has been bundled in by Bevan Berry. Or Burry, rather. It was a low free kick that was played in. Atkinson has spilled it. And then the uh, onrushing Burry was able to somehow get the ball into the back of the net. Gossett then try and move forward, but Giles takes inside with his clearance. Eventually goes long. Ball falls to Freeman, who takes the shot early and... That was never, ever going to cause Atkinson any problems, and he's out for a goal kick on his own at the far post. As the ball is played in towards Lafferty. It's cleared, though, by Glossop. As Axon knocks it along to Briggs, who wins yet another header. Ball's now at the feet of Gilboy, who turns his man, but he's fouled. Be a free kick in a... Central, central position, but definitely uh, in the vicinity, allowing them to take a shot on goal. Fiss, who I'm sure will be coming on shortly, but eventually will have this free kick. It will be Combra, it's low and it's into the wall and out for a very throw in. David Badrock. As they're now into the box, gloss at ball to towards the back post towards Bernard, but just slightly overhit. Lovely ball back into the box to Gillen, plays it to Badrock, and that's collected eventually by Atkinson. Ball's now on the left hand side with Kellett. Plays it back to Gilboy. Not too many options. He has to go back to Tinning, who plays a lovely ball through to Lenehan. He cuts in on his right foot, opens up for the shot. Oh. And it's a wonderful finish to make it 5 1 to Berry. It was a nice ball in from Tinning. It was deflected, but it was still great vision to find Lennon. He's then danced through a number of defenders on the edge of the box. And he's hit a beautiful shot to the bottom corner on the far side. And Berry's performance is capped off by another wonderful goal. 
As we're into the 88th minute, Berry have made it 5-1. Yeah, great uh, goal from, from Jack Lanahan and a, a great guy as well off the pitch. And I, I can see what that meant to him when, when that went in. Haslam on their right-hand side. It'll be a ball played into the box. Oh, determined to just keep it to a one. Kellett, the only man forward for Berry. Other than that, every man back. As Haslam eventually takes towards the far post and the head of Bedrock and it's out for a goal kick. Now I suspect the whistle will go as soon as Atkinson takes this. Oh, we've played, what, 90 seconds more yeah. than we should have done. I think there'll be a almighty cheer when the whistle is blown. Sal stands in full voice as Axton takes it, and that is indeed the final whistle. Well, after four years, it was definitely worth the wait. A strong first half performance from Berry, leading to a 3-0 half-time score. Two goals from Low, and a tapping from Briggs, and then two goals in the second half. One from Lenehan and one from Ansarka. Either side of a goal from Bury, the substitute for Glossop. For a 5 1 victory for Andy Welsh's side as they start the league campaign. This time at Gig Lane. And if that's anything to go by, what a season we've got to look forward to.